Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I have three exciting things. Um, maybe not too exciting to you, but they are to me. And the first one, I think you will like because I just, I think you will. I got to show you this. Let me move the camera. Here we go. Look at that. The table. The table's done. It's in the kitchen. It looks beautiful. Can you see that? I have, well actually I don't have, but my son did take one picture of the table when it was gouged up before. And I stole it from him, so I'll put a picture of before and after. But um, it's not really clear how you can, you know, see them. They're mostly on the edges, but uh, take a look. So yeah, it turned out really nice, didn't it? I mean, I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. So yeah. I have a kitchen table now. You don't know how much I've been missing having a kitchen table, but uh, I'm good to go now. So the two other things I wanted to share with you guys was today I planned on finally starting some seeds. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, I can't find my seed starting trays. And I just bought them. I don't know where they could have gone unless they're on the floor of my car in the back seat because, and I, I don't think they are. I have a feeling I put them out on the balcony and they blew away. My son says I'm crazy, but you know how lightweight those things are. I mean, I don't think they did, but, um, I had to put the back seat of my car down so that it was all open, you know, because it's, it's, I call it a souped up station wagon because that's what those remind me of, you know, the, the smaller, more kind of compact SUVs, whatever, those that have four wheel drive. So yeah, I just put the seat down because I bought um, a nightstand and I needed the room. So now I'm thinking, were the seed starting trays on the floor of the back seat and I just didn't notice them because I can't, I really, I can't find them anywhere and it's, it's bumming me out a little bit because I don't want to buy more, but I mean, I was, as you can see, ready to do this and now I don't have my trays. Um, but anyhow, I always put the dirt in here first and then get it all wet and then put it in the trays. It just makes everything so much easier. But this is my um, seed container. It used to have more. I cleaned it out pretty good last year. But I have different um, containers of seeds here. And these are fabulous. One of my Facebook friends, a wonderful, beautiful woman, sent me these from her garden from last year. So happy about that. Actually, she must, this was probably her garden from 2017 because she sent me these last year. But I didn't have room for most of this stuff. I didn't, I think, I don't know, I might this year, we'll see. But then, you know, this one is, this little thing here is just all different lettuces. And I marked them all. So these are beet and radish. There's peppers. Now normally I put this stuff in paper bags. But I didn't have any at the time, so baggies it was. Maybe I'll switch them over to the paper bags now. Well, not now. I don't have any again. But now that I'm thinking of it, buy some. Cucumbers. Not very many cucumbers. And I also don't have a lot of tomato seeds because some of my seeds were really getting old. And uh, the fresher ones were the ones that I saved myself. And I love those tomatoes, so I figured, what the hay. 
Anyhow, there's still tons and tons of seeds in here. I mean, it, it goes down and down and down. Just tons of them. But anyhow, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to grow because the balcony, the roof shades it. I mean, it's wonderful if you want to sit out there in the summer. You don't have to worry about getting too hot. But not great for plants. So now, I don't know. I don't think I can grow any. I can't grow anything that's full sun, that's for sure. Maybe part. I'm going to end up doing a lot of herbs and a lot of green stuff. Stuff stuff like that. Um, I'm debating right now if I should start tomato seeds, tomatoes, peppers for my son's garden because that's what him and his wife want. But normally I start my seeds a lot earlier than now and I don't know if the plants will be big enough by the time they need to go into the ground. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of gardening math and try and figure that out. Um, I don't think he cares one way or the other if it's plants bought from the store or if they're seedlings I grew myself. I kind of care, but um, it's not the end of the world if I got to buy plants, you know. But um, if I can grow myself, I will. I prefer to do that. That's, you know. I like doing that. That's the whole part of gardening, if you can do it, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I planned on doing a lot of different containers out there. And you know I was so excited about growing a lot of different stuff. Um, leave me some ideas if you guys have, you know, faced this before. Where you're looking at light shade. To out of shade. I mean, it's not dark or anything like that out there. But, yeah, it's not a lot of light, well, with the roof, you know. But, anyhow, the last thing I wanted to show you guys that I'm super excited about, super stoked, is I got a package from one of you, I'm assuming. It was in my um, post office box. And I hope it wasn't there for very long because I tend not to check that as often as I should probably. I don't think it was too long, but um, anyhow, I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing with you guys. So, I have my handy dandy knife here in my pocket, if I can get it out. And my coffee. Can I have some coffee? This is so much fun, like Christmas. Right, open. Yeah, because on here it just has, uh, you know, that it's from Amazon. It doesn't say who it's from. just that's really neat thank you so much for thinking of me and this ooh, ooh this looks really cool you guys it's all one piece you know a silicone spatula that is fabulous I never saw one like that before where it's all one piece. It says check out our forever warranty. Holy cow, our forever warranty. You don't see that too often anymore. Wow. So I guess you just register this and yeah, if anything ever goes wrong with it, they'll replace it. It says seamless. 
heat resistant to 600 degrees, 100% BPA free, dishwasher safe. Wow, that is super cool. Thank you. Can't wait to use that. Oh, and I will use it too, Bill Chanel. Wow. Look at this, you guys. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try and get it up there. It's a 12-piece knife set. I'm reading it on the back here. High-quality stainless steel blades, non-stick color coding for easy slicing. Color coding reduces the risk of cross-contamination during food preparation. Lifetime warranty, another lifetime. Wow! So, let me see. Look at all these different colors. I hope you guys can see this pretty well. That is really sweet. So there, in this set, there's an 8-inch chef knife, 8-inch slicing knife, 8-inch bread knife, 7-inch Santuco, Santuco, a big knife. <laughs> a six and a half inch utility knife and a three and a half inch paring knife. I love a good paring knife. That is probably one of the knives I use the most and at least on a daily basis. I just, but the bread knife really is nice too because sometimes only a bread knife will do, you know what I mean? But I think this is super cool. I love these colors and what a great idea to have different colors so you don't cross contaminate. That is fabulous. That is such really good, especially when we're coming up, you know, like on, on picnic time, you know, because a lot of times we do do that. You know, you'll have a plate of meat that's going on or off the grill but you got salads and fruits and fresh veggies and everything and that would really be nice not to cross contaminate that way. That's a really good idea. Let's see here. Wow. You can take these with too. Flexible cutting mats. Yeah, you can take those with on your picnic or your barbecue, whatever. There's three anti Microbial, won't dull knives, dishwasher safe, rolls up to store. Wow! So it looks like green, blue, and purple. Very nice! Thank you! And then, what the heck? This, last, this is the last thing in the box. Oh, holy smokes. It's a gift card. Well, geez, Louise. That, Rhonda, thank you so much. That's very cool of you. Nobody has to send me anything. I, you know, but I do appreciate it. That is just really, really nice of you. I can't believe it. And, uh, and I will get a lot of use out of this. So thank you for such a great housewarming gift. All right. I got to get busy. I got to try and figure out where <laughs> those seed trays are. But again, if you guys got any ideas on what I should grow, please leave them down in comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to get some ideas, you know. So anyhow, it was nice talking to you, and you take care.